We're gonna do a real fast uh, teaching video here on uh, this young man that um, presents here with actually a skull fracture, a linear skull fracture. And dad, what exactly happened to him? So he and another child collided on the playground at school on Thursday, head to head and- No, I did it in the play, I did it in the gym. Okay, it was in the gym, not in the on gym. the playground. And um, we noticed that he has a, a swollen area that was soft on the side of his head, so that's why we came in. Yeah, and then we did a CT scan. He has a linear skull fracture, and we're gonna show the skull fracture, but basically it goes from here to here. And uh, what's interesting is, is as if you, I don't have gloves on, but I'm just gonna touch his hair. If you touch this area here, you can actually feel right there where my fingers start. It gets really boggy, it's fluctuant. You can just push on it, push on it. And then over here, it, it has a, a sharp demarcation. And it goes back down. So, so basically it looks like a subgaleal bleed. That should absorb and uh, this uh, skull fracture should heal. Very rarely do they have long-term complications. And, uh, this actually happened a couple of days ago, so he's actually kind of outside the, uh, uh, I mean, he's had a period of observation where he's done well and he's gonna continue to do well. Occasionally, those, those hematomas um, actually leave an area of calcification as the blood's absorbed, and, and there may be a little bit of an uh, elevation in the bone there but you, 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 don't, you don't drain them or anything like that. Uh, rarely, they can get infected, so just be careful. If you start to get a fever, it starts to be more painful, uh, just be aware of that too. So thanks so much for letting us do this little video and uh, appreciate it very much. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is a view of our patient's reconstituted CT scan of the skull. If you look closely, you'll see a fracture line on the left parietal skull that extends perpendicular to the midline sagittal suture. Importantly, this fracture line is not displaced and not depressed, and thankfully, it's going to heal perfectly in just a few weeks. Do pediatric linear skull fractures need to be admitted to the hospital? That is an important question. Not too long ago, uh, patients consistently with linear skull fractures would be admitted to the hospital. So the answer is, the evidence now says don't admit. You know, if a child's got a linear skull fracture, they have a normal Glasgow coma score, they have no other complications, they have responsible parents or guardians, and you're not worried at all about non-accidental trauma, then uh, those patients can be sent home. The literature is very strong on this, and over the last 10 years or so, it has uh, just exploded. And so I think that should support uh, what I'm saying. I'm going to just list off the references. I'm going to go fast and, and just read off the year. But 2011, 2013, 2015, 2015, and uh, 2016, 2016, 2019, and uh, 2020. So again, excellent articles. They all say the same thing. You don't have to admit the uh, uncomplicated, stable pediatric skull fracture linear skull fracture to the hospital. Thank you very much.